what's up? Um, so I had this grand idea as I was laying on my floor watching a movie that I wanted to draw like a princess. I don't know why. And at first I was going to have her like with her arm out and like having him like kissing her hand or something like that and like but they're actually enemies and then that didn't happen at all and I went a completely different route and have her holding a knife to his throat because you know why not um so yeah I'm just sketching it it's it was on a whim kind of thing so (laughs) um I got a cold right now so sorry if I sound a little funny but I had to get this video out I was not going to hold off on doing it so I am pushing through it um I like drawing these characters they're kind of fun to do it was I don't like side profiles it is my weakness so um yeah also trying to figure out what the heck he was wearing was an interesting ordeal having to find drawing references for so and then I was like I gotta make it moody and like mysterious so I add in this really cool background with like a balcony or something and then there's like a moon and a tree and it's gonna be so cool okay just trust me it's gonna be cool and so as I was drawing this I started coming up with story ideas and I'm like this is gonna be awesome and I was thinking what if, like, he came into her life or something like that and, like, gained her trust and she trusted him, but what she later finds out is that he's actually a spy or, like, an informant for the other nation, and so when she finds that out, she, like, loses all trust in him and she knows that he can't stay alive for the good of their country so she has to get rid of him because no one's going to believe her. So she has to get rid of him. And so she thought she could trust him, and they were like friends. She was misunderstood before he came along. And he got, like, comfortable, I guess, and he really, like, enjoyed hanging out with her and stuff. And so he's all upset about it. She's upset about it. She's crying. I was going to have him crying, too. And then I took it away because I didn't want to do that. But, fun concept to draw, even though I wasn't planning on doing that, so... Because, you know, who needs the nice drawings anyway? We gotta get aggressive. Mean. Anyway, that brings up the good point of how I make my characters, like, an extension of myself. Rosie is definitely the extension of my anger issues and aggressiveness. So, that is definitely that side coming out i was gonna okay for the eyes i was i really like doing the eyes because i don't draw purple eyes like ever except when i draw my brother's character but um i don't know i just picked a random color like i spun really really fast on the color wheel and i selected a random one so but just imagine how like i guess awkward and like sad this like whole ordeal would be like you really think you trust someone and then they come out with a knife right up to your throat like that would really 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 suck okay it also would suck if you figured out the person you trusted actually was part of another enemy nation so i don't know kind of a loss for both of them i guess um so yeah i didn't really use references for this drawing which I usually try to do, so it was kind of interesting, and that's why some things might look disproportionate, but that's okay. I also went with yellow eyes, because you know what, yellow and purple, complementary colors, why not make their eyes match, you know? Like, they're matching, but not matching at the same time, they're different, but they complement each other, as I don't know, I really, really don't know. But he's really just sitting there like, why is this happening? Oh, wait, it's your fault. So yeah, he made her cry. 
he's crying. I actually take the tears away later because, you know what? He knows it's for the good of his country. He has to do it. Yet, he didn't expect along the way that he would become friends with her and then maybe fall in love, but who knows? Honestly, I think the background's my favorite part. Honestly, I don't like backgrounds, and I did a pretty good job. <gasps> I love the color dodge on this. It just makes everything just seem so much more. And then I was going to add some cooler stars, maybe add some nebulas, but I didn't do that. So this is the final drawing. It is my favorite drawing that I've done in such a long time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I love you guys. Bye.